Hello everybody. In this video I will show you some experiments with a large neodymium magnet. And what I have here is a neodymium disc magnet. It is 7 cm in diameter and 1 cm in thickness. And it's still packed in its original packing. I didn't unpack it yet. And the cardboard thing that you can see here is yeah where it got shipped in and I will put it in there for safety reasons of course because this magnet is yeah insanely strong compared to normal magnets you know so it will be packed in here so there is a layer of cardboard of around two to three centimeters around it so I can play with it safely and for the first experiment I will show you what happens if I take a circular Halbach array and this array is made like this that the strong side of the magnetic field is forced in one direction like this. So what happens if I put it on here is that the magnet kind of it doesn't float because of course it's attracted to it but it will stand in a like yeah slight angle depending on where you place it as you can see and it always wiggles a bit <laughs> if you do this it does that actually for quite a long time and yeah I will show you the, the angle so imagine the disk magnet is in here and if I put it out there you can see it's almost vertically placed. If I go further into the center the angle changes and the further I go into the center the more it wants to be aligned straight upwards. And yeah I can also take a second array like this. You can see it does the same. So, this was the first experiment and I also got another one. These are neodymium disc magnets but smaller ones. These are 10, uh, 10 millimeters in diameter and stacked four of them together. And these are N52 grid so these are really really strong. And if I just place them on my finger, like this, you will see nothing, but I will, if I get closer, right now I'm at center, so it's heading straight up, but if I go further to the edge, you will see how the magnet aligns to the magnetic field of the bigger neodymium magnet, like this. And as you can see, I can yeah, hold the magnets in a position like this where one end is like all already pointing downwards and yeah not really on my finger anymore. So my finger is just there to keep it from accelerating to the magnet like this. So if there would be no cardboard between my finger and the big magnet this could easily break my finger and I will show you a bit of a circular motion like this and then you should notice um, depending on how the magnet aligns what the field of the, this magnet looks like and to give you a further demonstration I have here a toroid like this because as you surely know the magnetic field is always toroidal and to explain a bit why the magnets align like they align if you imagine this toroid would be the magnetic field and this would be our magnet if I place it in the center and just let this curve guide the magnet it's at first I hope you can see this 
aligned like this and the further I go outside the angle also changes like you can see here I will do this with this Halberg array so you can see it a bit better so as you could see it's in the center it's aligned like this and if I go further outside it wants to align like this and this is just a demonstration of yeah basically to give you an idea of why the magnets align like this because the shape of this magnetic field is of course toroidal and this is exactly what you see here the outer edge is like this if I get closer it will align more vertically and for the finish I have here a bigger stack of these neodymium magnets. These are also strong N52 grade magnets, so they are really, really, really strong. Um, yeah, if I do it like this, my finger gets squeezed really hard. It doesn't hurt, but it would if there would be no cardboard between. So, with this one, I want to show you. Um, what is even possible. So I hope you can see this from this camera view. Whoops, dropped it. If I do this, you will see how this large stack align. And if I go further up and like this, yeah, it's a bit difficult to hold and show, but I can hold the magnets like this easily and this side is even pointing downwards and I think this is a pretty cool demonstration of yeah to give you an idea of how the magnetic field aligns so yeah, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.